For their latest production, the San Diego Opera tackles the rarely produced Murder in the Cathedral, which looks to the murder of Archbishop Thomas Beckett at the hands of King Henry II's knights. We wanted to give the idea of the inside of a church, but when the audience comes in, the first thing they'll see is a stained glass window, and on that window are both Beckett and King Henry II. We have the what we call the show cloth. This rises, and we see the depth of the cathedral inside. A key element to Ilda Brando Pizzetti's opera is the female chorus. The women will always be there because at the end of their first scene they say we are condemned only to watch. They know they can't do anything about the events that they have a premonition about and since they're condemned to watch I'm going to have them watching. Watching from the imposing steps of Canterbury Cathedral, Ralph Funicello's production design captures the grand scale of the cathedral with its stained glass windows and massive pillars but designing for opera can be very different from designing for a stage play. As I've always said, you design for the music in an opera. I mean, there's the story and the plot and all of that, but what really keys into what the scale and the, and the emotional feeling of, of the, the design is really uh, comes from more from the music than anything. This 1958 opera is based on T.S. Eliot's poetic drama, Murder in the Cathedral, which uses Beckett's murder to address issues of religion, politics, and an individual's opposition to authority. We must remember that when he died, a cult of Beckett developed, and it became so powerful that the king, in a sense, had to surrender to it and come to the Beckett tomb and uh, pay penance. Even though he says he didn't order the knights to kill him, he knew he had publicly to accept a kind of responsibility. The opera deals with themes that Campbell says still resonate today. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.